Okay, so you've figured out that by doing all those other problems that the O and the I term, um, when you multiply the O times the I, that gives you the same effect as multiplying the F times the L. So that's going to come in handy here. If we're changing this into four terms, we need to check to see what would the F and the L be multiplied um, multiply to get. And so if I write a little column here, multiply to be negative 24x squared, because that's your F and your L being multiplied, but they also need to add up or combine to become a negative 5. And so I'm going to do another column right here that says add to negative 5x. And you listed all those um, numbers that multiplied to give you negative 24. So if you would look back at number 10, go ahead and find the two numbers that multiply to be negative 24, but also add up to be negative 5x. So I'm going to rewrite it. And you found, hopefully, a negative 8x times a positive 3x is going to add up to be a negative 24x squared, but also add to be a negative 5. So if we separate this middle term into those two magic numbers, we'll have our four terms, and we can factor using our grouping method the same way you were doing before. Your GCF between these two is 2x, the GCF between 3x and negative 12 is a positive 3. Once again, remember, put that sign right there. That's going to help later on. And then we have x minus 4 times 2x plus 3. Now to check it, we can multiply. So if we multiply x times 2x, we get 2x squared. If we multiply x times 3, we get plus 3x, and we get negative 8x minus 12. If you combine like terms, that does indeed, whoops, that should be a 5, that's a 5x minus 12, and that's what we get. So here is our answer. So go ahead and do the rest of them the same way.